Good morning, guys. It's Hannah. Um, I'm just looking at my coffee and the lipstick stain on it. Ooh, kind of went overboard this morning. So an interesting fact about me is that I actually gave my high school graduation speech. And I'm 17, 18 years old, you know, talking to my fellow peers about these ideas that we've been taught give us meaning in life. You know, getting a college degree, get, you know, knowing what we want to do in life, finding the perfect person to be with, having kids, following this straight line. And two years after I gave that speech, I went to a mental hospital. I was involuntarily placed and, you know, got a diagnosis of bipolar 2 disorder. Bipolar completely impacted my life. But it took me years to realize that those ideas that I was saying gave us meaning, that we believed gave us meaning, they don't. Their accomplishments, their their blessings, if you if you have the proper resources even, if you're lucky. Challenge is what gives you meaning. And for me, definitely, that's what bipolar has done. Bipolar means that I'm different, that I have a mind that doesn't fit the standard guidelines of what's acceptable in society. Bipolar dis disorder does not mean I'm a bad person. In fact, it's the opposite. I have extreme empathy and I think I'm a colorful person and, and a kind person, but man, I face a lot of stigma and that sucks. It influenced my path. It influences my path, my work, my passion, and it's also my biggest struggle and my biggest challenge that I face on a daily basis. But I believe we fight against it. I feel like, because I felt like this for so long after I got diagnosed, that we want to say out loud, right? I'm okay. I I'm okay with this. I, I can embrace this disorder. I can take control of my own life. I can rock this. We feel that inside. We want to say that. But it goes against everything uh, that we've been taught about mental health conditions. It's, those are the words that do not define or give meaning to bipolar disorder. And it was not until I was able to define it on my own terms and figure out what it meant to me that I could finally let the light in and see the positive side of it. You know, and I hope for everybody watching or anybody that's not watching even that that's what I can help you do as well to give you that strength to kind of go against what's ingrained in us that it's bad, bad, because it's not. It's not. And I want to hear your ideas about this. You know, what does bipolar disorder mean to you? Please leave your comments, your thoughts below, or do a response video. I would love to see those. I'll leave the information of where to send it below. And, of course, I can't wait to see you next week. Okay, have a great morning. Bye.